Hey everybody, what's up? Not a newbie. Back again with yet another video. And today, I am taking a look at um, a raisin in the sun. This here, I was pleasantly surprised to find was in the Criterion Collection. So I decided to grab it now that Barnes & Noble is currently, as I'm recording this, in the midst of their Criterion Collection 50% off sale in like July of 2024. Oh, by the way, here's a sticker right here on the front. Um, but uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite um, uh, movies, I think. One of my favorite older movies, I would say. I need to rewatch this, but I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, this also was a film that, uh, while watching it, it kind of cemented in my mind um, Sidney Poitier as like one of my favorite like old actors from like previous generations. Um, he was just absolutely fantastic and stood out in this film. I'm very, very happy to finally have this film in my collection. The art is very cool, very, uh, you know, criterion-y. <laughs> criterion <-y. laughs> this is not the original art by any means, but it is very, very nice, and it blends in well with the other stuff. I, I am noticing, though, that this is slightly cracked. I don't particularly care a whole lot about those types of things, but I would hope that, you know, a stock brand new um, Blu-ray wouldn't have, like, cracks in the case, you know. <laughs> One would hope. Here on the spine, this is what it looks like on the side. So you can see it says A Raisin in the Sun, as well as Criterion Collection and the spine number down there in the corner. And on the back, you get a nice little description of the film and stuff. Uh, we've also got uh, details down here on the side. As well as, you know, uh, the, oh, the cast and crew stuff down here. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we've also got, like, some uh, copyright and... Um, you know, tech specs, you know, the fact that it's like Blu-ray, for example, that all is pretty cool. So opening this up on the inside, ooh, ooh, this is interesting. This is not going to get through um, on the video, but the texture that they use for this does not feel like traditional paper, even for like an insert. It's like slightly rougher. It's hard to describe, um... I guess if you have like uh, like color like cardboard paper or something, it this feels like almost that like it feels almost that rough. It's very hard to describe, but uh, it's, you just have to feel it to experience it. Um, but kind of adds an interesting, unique touch to this because even among Criterion Collection releases, the inserts don't feel like that. So I'm a little bit surprised and taken uh, uh, taken aback. <clears throat> but this is cool. We've got some full quality set photos in here. Um, we've got stuff in here talking about like the composition of some of the scenes. Um, this is very nice. Like we, we we're, we're getting some cool pictures <clears throat> in here. So I highly recommend you getting this. Um, you know, even if you are just interested in more behind the scenes stuff, because pretty cool. Um, also, we've got the disc here in the inside. And this has pretty much all of the content because it's the only disc included. Um, so yeah, with this, not a whole lot of like individual pieces to this release. Although I will say, very cool. The insert, um, you know, definitely does not disappoint. Uh, very cool to have an insert with all like the pictures and stuff and behind the scenes things. I wish more movies um, had those in their physical media releases, but generally you only see those in like media books slash digit books and Criterion Collection releases. So very grateful for Criterion Collection for putting that in the physical media release for this film. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in another video if you want to see another one of my videos.